Okay, the stand of the hobo stove is really good now, but I have to say that my canteen cup doesn't really fit on top of this hobo stove. So I might bend this a little bit. Now it has a little bit of an oval shape. Alright folks, so today I'm here by the riverside and I want to try out my new hobo stove that I made and yeah, it looks pretty cool and I already got a little bit of kindling here but I need much more so let's go and search for some kindling. Now the really cool thing about this hobo stove is that I have two windows so I can feed in firewood from two sides. This stove is working dandy fine. I really like it. I might build some more of them because I have different kinds of camping locations and maybe I just gonna stash them there. That would be really awesome. So Usually I just make a fire, open fire, but sometimes you know you can't because either it's too hot or too dry and you don't want to risk a forest fire. And then a hobo stove like this is way to go. So yeah, this is a pretty cool stove and actually it's really cheap so it didn't cost a lot. So I have seen some hobo stove which are very expensive to buy, but with this one here you will get the same quality. And yeah, the only downside is that this here is not foldable. So it takes up a lot of room inside of your pack. Okay guys, so that's it for today. I really want to thank you for watching and stay tuned till next time.